So with the launch of the Oppo Find X5 Pro, it comes with Color OS 12.1 based upon Android 12. And we've not shared our favorite features, so we thought this video is overdue. This is our favorite new features in Color OS 12.0 and 12.1. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Let's quickly mention something that many of you might be thinking straight away, as there are more than a few Color OS 12 and 12.1 features that are now actually within Oxygen OS 12 on OnePlus smartphones. According to OnePlus though, the merger between Color OS and Oxygen OS has now been scrapped, but it is hard to argue that there's more than a bit of Oppo flavor in the recent OnePlus software releases, from hardware to that aforementioned software. When baked into Oppo smartphones though, like the brand new Find X5 Pro, ColorOS seems to make a bit more sense, but back to the matter at hand, the features that you want to hear about. We've seen numerous variations in how Google's wallpaper-based theming is implemented across OEMs, but in Oppo's case, it's a little bit more customizable than some others out there. Through the personalization tab within the settings menu, you can select portions of your wallpaper from the which the system accenting is going to be applied. This is great that Oppo does this, as it seems to be less opaque about just how colors are selected. Within this section, you'll actually get a preview of where your color choices are going to be directly applied, from in-app buttons to the quick settings tiles. Everywhere seems to be clear and obvious from the outset. The only downside though is that unlike dynamic color on in Material U for Pixel smartphones and even some One UI phones, which are owned by Samsung, individual apps may not fully adhere to system level colors. That said, it is pretty nice to have these options out of the box. Oppo smartphones are not without any bloat whatsoever, so it is great to see at least the removal of a few duplicates with the usage of many stock Google apps, including Google Messages and Google Chrome. Google Messages alone will certainly help improve the adoption rate of RCS and in turn help push more of the excellent Google Chat features to people that have not yet tried them. The Google Phone app is also now the default dialer within Color OS 12 and 12.1 with enhanced features such as the inbuilt caller ID and spam protection and detection, plus much more on top of that. Exclusive to Color OS 12.1, the O Haptics feature lets you adjust and tune the vibration based feedback of the Oppo Find X5 Pro. You can increase the intensity of vibrations and even adjust whether vibrations feel what they describe as crisp or gentle under your thumb or fingertip. This applies to absolutely all areas of the device, so Tweaking and tuning can result in something completely different depending on how you make these adjustments. It also helps that the Find X5 Pro has some of the best haptics on Android, making this a really nice addition that we'd love to see come to more Android skins out there. One of the major new additions in Android 12 is the enhanced privacy controls, which do include the privacy dashboard settings page. And this is just a hub for all sensor and on-device data access requests over a 24 hour period that you can refer to. While the privacy dashboard is a useful tool for managing and mon monitoring sensor location and other permission information, you have the ability to go a few steps further with the removal of personal information from photos with a new privacy protection feature, which is built into Color OS. This allows you to remove this when sharing videos and images. Other options include microphone and camera access indicators, and it must be stressed that these two are not limited to Color OS, but are standard within Android 12 no matter the OEM. The toggles let you instantly block access to the camera and microphone from the quick settings panel and are a great tool for just quickly blocking applications from maybe gaining a little bit too much information about you and your surroundings. Rounding out Android 12's privacy controls are new pop-ups and options to limit access to your actual device location. You can set apps to access your device precise or approximate location. And this is great as it does not limit certain app functionality while ensuring that your data is still private. Much like in Oxygen OS, Oppo has added three layers of customization for the inbuilt dark mode theme in Color OS 12 that allows you to adjust the color depth settings to three grayscale options. Enhanced, which is an AMOLED black mode, medium, which is kind of, again, in the middle, and gentle, which is more towards the gray end of the scale. It is a shame you can't fully tweak this dark theme to your own custom setting, but the added layer of tuning at least allows you to set a level to what you will prefer. It is hard to fault the performance of any flagship level smartphone these days, 
but the ability to effectively increase the RAM available by using onboard storage could be a game changer for lower end devices out there and in the future. Color OS 12.1 lets you hardwire up to 7GB of your device storage to kind of act as RAM and hopefully improve the actual performance of your smartphone. Now I can't say for certain if it does a great deal, especially for a flagship device such as the Find X5 Pro, but who doesn't want what amounts to 19 gigabytes of RAM on their brand new device? Well, I know I do. And if you have an older Reno handset or even just an older Oppo handset for that matter, things might not even fall out of the recent app menu quite as often. So it is a really nice feature that we're seeing a lot of OEMs adopt across Android. The Canvas AOD feature has also jumped over from OnePlus phones and has made it into Color OS, providing you do have a smartphone with an AMOLED screen. It's just called Portrait Silhouette here, and it works in the exact same way. When you set an image as your lock screen, this feature will create a line style sketch of your subject. Unlocking your device will bring the image into full color with all details available and visible from your home screen. It is a nice feature for things such as family portraits, and it adds a nice layer of obfuscation or privacy to your lock screen for those personal photos that you might want to look at, but you don't want everyone to see. The floating window feature has been around for a while, but it's still a powerful multitasking option that we wanted to highlight as you can pop out any app or stash any running apps anywhere on your screen for quick access or reopening. In combination with the built-in system split screen mode, this means you can run up to three apps on screen simultaneously. Alternatively, it might be extra helpful to keep an app such as a music player right there for quick access when you need it most. So the limited nature of Oppo smartphones in certain regions means that only selected global areas can get to grips with much of what makes Color OS 12 and 12.1 what is a fairly solid alternative to the multitude of Android skins already on the market. That said, we want to know what Color OS 12.0 and 12.1 features stand out to you the most. Would you like to see them come to any other Android skins? Be sure to let us know down in the comment sections below. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.